September 18, 2017 Monday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth, I am not lying. Teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish, then, that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. Hear the sound of my pleading when I cry to you, lifting up my hands toward your holy shrine. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I find help. Then my heart exalts, and with my song I give him thanks. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. The Lord is the strength of his people, the saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed them and carry them forever. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my prayer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you come do this for him. For he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. I say to one, Go, and he goes, and to another, Come here, and he comes, and to a slave, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord.